I'm Brandon Lang, and this is your Monday edition of My Two Cents. And we'll get to your complimentary winner in just a moment. Going to break down the college basketball matchup between Houston Baptist hosting Texas San Antonio. We'll have it for you in just a moment. Speaking of having it for you, stayed red hot in the NFL with winning Sunday number five of the last six. And we pushed the NFL record to 12 and five the last 43 days, courtesy of the 100 dime winner number three in a row. On the Denver Broncos, plus three and a half over the Pittsburgh Steelers. They win it outright 24-17. So yes, I dropped the 200-dimer on Saturday in college football. I couldn't pick my nose in college football right now. But let me tell you something. There's nobody hotter in the NFL right now. Tonight, not only do we go for Monday night winner number three in a row, we go for NFL winner number four in a row. And it's 50-dime winner number two in a row off the Giants two weeks ago, 27-23 over the San Francisco 49ers. Don't look now. We're going back to last year in the NFL. 34-20-2 run. And that same $10 better has now surfed over the $13,000 mark. So as I said before, my college opinion right now in football is horrible. But to step up and dial it in, in the NFL the last six weeks, feels pretty fucking good. Overall, 12-5. As I said, $10 better up over the $8,000 mark last year. $34.20 and two, same $10 better up over the $13,000 mark. So again, staying absolutely red hot in the NFL, we got to find it and find it quick in college football. So tonight, we give you NFL winner number four in a row. Yes, indeed. It was last Monday night, largest Monday night release of the entire career, 100 Dimer, On the Rams, bought down to two and a half. They got it done over the Kansas City Chiefs. Then last Thursday night, Hunter Dime winner number two in a row. The Saints, minus 13, get it done by 14 over the Atlanta Falcons. And then yesterday, Hunter Dime winner number three in a row on Denver outright over the Pittsburgh Steelers. So tonight, NFL winner number four in a row. Tonight, Monday night winner number three in a row. And tonight, 50 Dime winner number two in a row off the Giants two weeks ago. That's what we have on the NFL card tonight. Let's get to 13 and 5. Let's get that $10 better pushing the $9,000 mark. And going back to last year, let's get it to a documented 35, 20 and 2 and push that $10 better closer to the $14,000 mark. All right. Top metro in a moment. My two cents. So it's about time the Jacksonville Jaguars got smart and sent offensive coordinator Nathaniel Hackett on his way because the guy was absolutely garbage. And it was because of him that the Jags didn't go to the Super Bowl last year because they had the New England Patriots beat at New England. And his offensive play calling in the second half was absolutely atrocious. And the mere fact that the Jacksonville Jaguars then gave a boatload of money to Blake Bortles, and they brought Hackett back, they were set up to be doomed. And doomed they are. Until they send Blake Bortles on his way and get an offensive coordinator in there that knows what he's doing. In fact, coaches across the NFL, how Marvin Lewis still has a job is beyond me. How Mike McCarthy still has a job is beyond me. I have never seen coaching worse in the NFL in the last 27 years I've been in this business than the coaching I'm seeing right now. From clock management, from goal line situations, it has been atrocious. So good. It's finally nice to see some coaches that should have got their walking papers last year are getting them this year before the season even ends. All right, complimentary winner right now. Houston Baptist returns back home after an unbelievable road win at Wake Forest, 93-91 in overtime as a double-digit road dog. In fact, so far this year, you may see their record as only one win, but I see a team that's battled Arizona, that's battled Wisconsin, and beat an ACC school like Wake Forest on the road in Wake Forest. And now they get a Texas San Antonio team in here, coming in here and laying points. That's got one win on the year. For me, if you can beat an ACC school on the road, 
like Houston Baptist did over Wake Forest, you can come back home and take care of business plus the points over Texas San Antonio. Give me Houston Baptist plus the three and a half. That's it, everybody. Enjoy 50 Dime Monday Night Winner number two in a row tonight. Overall Monday Night Winner number three in a row tonight. And overall NFL winner number four in a row tonight. I'm Brandon Lang. We'll see you back here soon on another edition of My Two Cents.